Hello everyone and welcome back. I have a new subscriber, so welcome to you. I'm so glad to have you here with me. Um, so today we're going to do a few different things. Um, one of the things I want to do first of all is I was in Walmart the other day and I found these really cool beads. They're going to be so much fun to work with. They're uh, called Designs by Me, and they're from Jesse James Beads. Now, I paid about $5 for the package of them, but it's I think it's worth it. It's 14 pieces. They come in different sizes and or different colors and different styles. I picked the red because they'll probably be painted, and I want to be making some miniature non-working lamps because Grandma's house probably isn't going to have working lights. So let me just show you a few. I think if you painted these, they would be so much fun to do something with. I love them. Look at all that like wire just kind of haphazardly twisted around. I think those will be really fun to work with. There's these. I'm not really sure what I would do with those yet, but there's a few ideas kicking around in the old brain. These, I think, would be amazing on a lamp, whether you used them in the gold color or you, you know, painted them. And we have some of these, which would make a good base for something, I think. And you get two of each type, so there's quite a bit. And of course, there's just your big round beads. You get some red faceted of different and plain not faceted of different sizes. So just hold those up. But they would be good to add, like you know, for smaller beads on lamps. Or anything, Rob is just running around doing something. Then you get uh, you get this shape of red bead, which also would be fun to use for lamps. I'm not particularly crazy about this. I think they're supposed to be roses. Yeah. But maybe I can take the little metal pieces off and do something with those. And then you get these ones. You get gold ones. And some are faceted and some have, I don't know, little bug things on them. But they could still be used. So, and then a couple of these big dark reddish beads. So there's plenty to play with there. I think it'll be a lot of fun putting some lamps together. So that's definitely an upcoming project. So yeah, if you're interested in anything like this, Walmart has them for sure. They're around five dollars or four something. Anyway, yeah, so there's that. And then I'm gonna go away and I'll bring you back. We're gonna go do a little update on Grandma's house. Let's see what I've got done. Hello, we're back and over at Grandma's house and back in the kitchen. So I have taken to some fabric scraps and I have made little pot holders and then I took the hooks from the hook and eye sets that you sew with and I made little hooks to put the little pot holders on. All right, let's move around because as you can see, I have installed the upper cupboard now, which I think is really super cute in there. I'm gonna try my best. To get in here with the camera so that you can see, please, I'm sorry about the shaking, but it's a tight squeeze. There's not even a doorway that, you know, like from the living room that I can put the camera through to show you. And it is kind of dark, so we're going to do it the best we can, which isn't very good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hopefully I'll figure out a better way to do this later on. But yeah, I put the cupboard in, and I am really pleased with the way that is looking. I think it is so cute. I haven't done anything with the table area yet. It's just such a small space. And of course, we'll be having to make the dog's food, his dishes and stuff, and some other little things, and some rugs. We'll get there. And if anyone, oh, and on this side of the little shelf, I added a miniature tiny salt and pepper shaker that I made from, uh, I used, it was a plastic inside of a pen, 
And then on top I just used a couple brads that you use like in scrapbooking for the lids. And then there's a little plant back there on the shelf. And I used a real plant, real dried plant. And you can't really see it too well. If anyone really cares, there's the Fig Newtons right on top of the fridge. Remember I had that big dilemma. I wanted to use the Fig Newtons. I didn't know where to put the Fig Newtons <laughs> while they're on the fridge. Okay, so let's go up and that's Grandma's, I'm sorry about the waving camera. That's Grandma's bedroom, of course. And that's going to be the next project, I think. I ordered a little TV from Timo. So Grandma's got TV to watch now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be our next project. Um, is Grandma's room, I think. And let's go up to the bathroom while we're on this. We're here. And there is the little plunger we made together. Here is her bathtub and I put some little bottles back there on that little shelf and there is a wine glass. I don't have a wine bottle yet, but we're going to put that in there. <laughs> and probably a little candle so Grandma can feel special when she takes a bath. And over in the laundry basket I have included a little box of ivory soap. So she has something to clean her clothes with. Still have to do something with those shelves and I have some other things I want to be doing. I did put a rug in front of the sink. And not to make you dizzy or anything, let's go back down to the living room, which is quite dark right now, I'm sorry. And I don't hope you can see it, but there's that lace is probably not going to stay on there, but I stuck it on for a doily. That's so, <laughs> I know you really can't even see. That's the little doily that, or, <laughs> oh my. That's the little table that we made the other day out of the uh, pizza box support. So I think that turned out really cute. It's the perfect size. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So anyway, I think the rest of our project today is going to be working on Grandma's bed. I want to change the bedding. I liked it, but I think I could find something a little better to go with the color in, of her room. So I think that's what we'll be doing also today is remaking Grandma's bed. Thank you for joining me and I'll be back in a little while. Bye bye. Hello and welcome back to what is now salvaging Grandma's bed. <laughs> I uh, started yesterday on making new bedding for it and I was going to be like everybody else and use hot glue and glue my bedding together. And the last one that I made for her, I sewed. And I should have also sewn this one. But I didn't. I thought, oh, everybody else does hot glue. I can make that. It would appear that no, I can't. My gluing up here was very bad. I didn't get the cover long enough. My corners are not good. I've got a big blob of hot glue on that one. <laughs> so it didn't work out well. And the pillow, the pillows, forget it. They were a disaster. So I'm not going to do the pillows today. But I am going to try to salvage what I messed up. So I have found some lace. I only have a little bit of it left. And this is what it is. And I'm going to try gluing that around the bed to the bottom so that it looks like it's just part of the cover. <laughs> oh, it was a disaster. I have started filming and it was a massive disaster. Like crazy massive. So I stopped the video and decided that I was done with that. And that I would, I was going to remake the whole thing and I thought, no. I went to all this work and I'm going to try to salvage it. So that's what we're going to do today. Excuse me, I did not have my glue gun heated up, but it won't take very long. Yes, I'm going back to the glue gun, but that's only to put this trim on. And we're going to be very careful. Oh my. So what I did do this morning was I decided Grandma needed a painting. And so this is a little... I don't know, it's some sort of plastic or resin frame. It's very thin. I don't know where I got them. I got them in a bag at Savers years ago. And 
I didn't like most of the shapes, but there were a couple that shaped and I thought, well, they're passable. So what I did was I took the miniature Degas ballerinas and I cut the painting down that I made. And that was in my one where I did the uh, how to make a miniature canvas. And so I put that in there. I originally started painting the frame gold with the folk art metallic, but it just came out really weird. And whatever this stuff is, not even glue licks to stick to it. <laughs> Took me a while to get the painting in there. So I went over it with black and then I went back over it with the gold and it gave it a really antique gold. So there it is. I think it turned out really, really nice. I really like that. And I think that's going to hang above Grandma's bed in her room. So there's that. I thought about replacing the dresser in Grandma's room with a uh, with a, one of the wardrobes I bought at Minimum World, but it just seemed to be way too big. Even though it's really not any wider than the dresser, it was just tall and it just looked all wrong. So not doing that either. I am having trouble. I was going to do this, like I, I had that and I said I thought it would make a cool clock face. That would be for Victoria's Farmhouse. And look at it. I can't even get gesso to stick to this stuff. I should have sanded it maybe, but I was afraid I'd sand away too much of the detail of the little triangles. So I couldn't even get gesso to stick to it. So I'm not sure where we're going to go with that either. Everything has just been a disaster lately. So we will see what happens. Um, usually it's, oh, yeah, it's ready. I'm oozing glue. So yeah, glue gun is definitely ready. Okay, well that makes life easier. And I did glue the mattress down. I wasn't going to, but I did. So I have glued, attempted to glue one edge of this lace with tacky glue, but it just soaks into the lace and doesn't want to work. So obviously I am still having my mishaps. I've got to get that glued in right there and then go to there and then I'll tuck this end under so that my corner doesn't look quite so bad. That's the thought. I'm not sure how this is going to work since it's me and the glue gun again, but I'm going to do it slowly. A little bit, a very fine bit of glue at a time. And my glue gun is getting low on glue, so at some point I'll have to put a new stick in. Okay, so very, very, very carefully we are going to attempt to attach this right to the edge of the blanket. And we're going to hope that it works. I tell you what, guys, I'm almost scared to do anything right now because nothing is working and I don't like wasting materials. I don't like having disasters, especially while I'm trying to do a video for you guys because you deserve better than that. Watching me make mistake after mistake, but I'm just... I don't know if I'm in a creative slump right now or what the heck. Mentally, I'm ready for it, but... Possibly it's not ready for me. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on there. Burn my fingers and yeah, probably say something I probably shouldn't. Okay, so that is not wanting to tuck under now, of course, because I think my hot glue got dry on the fabric or it didn't get it up there. So we're going to do try this again here with the glue. I'm getting low too so it doesn't squirt out like it should but I want just a very very fine fine little bit of glue. I don't want a lot. See there it started sticking to my fingers and that is not what I want to do with this. So I'm going to now attempt again to glue it down and I'm going to put just a bit on this leg if possible just to hold it in place. So I'll fold it down and I didn't get it on there real straight but I'm not sure it would be real straight on a bed. And obviously I didn't get any glue over here either. Oh I did. 
it didn't look like it. So this is not, oh wait, I didn't. This is by no means probably even passable, but it's going to have to do because of the problems I've had. So let's get that up there. Try to get it so it's kind of even. It's a little hard because of the way I folded the edge of the bed over, or the bedding. But I think it'll work. I think we'll be okay. So let's get the other side on. It's it's worse because it didn't fold right. I had a I had a one of those my corner. Due to the fact I'm not used to gluing, I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just trying to state facts here. My corner did not work out well. I'm going to turn this piece off. It's got where it's fraying out. It's a crocheted lace and I don't know how old it is. I'm assuming it's somewhat vintage and I'm going to work from my really bad corner which I need to tack down. I just don't want to get too much glue. I want it to lay down. It's not going to show because it's going to be on the back side of the bed. And honestly, at some point, I will redo this whole thing, but we're going to wait until I can actually possibly get something accomplished without disaster. So let's get some glue on there. Fold it over. Ow. Just it wasn't too bad. It wasn't like yesterday when I burned the heck out of my finger doing this. I just need it cut off about here. And hopefully I will have enough for the last thing I want to do. So I'm going to glue this edge under. Just need some glue. And you know, I probably wouldn't burn myself so much, but the holes where the crochet is on the lace, that's kind of where the glue is seeping through and uh, so Yes, this end is not going to be, it's it's not to my liking, it's bothering me, but I don't want to undo all this right now. So we're just going to make the best of it, and someday I will. I should have known yesterday that this was probably not the best idea when I pulled the old bedding off and the headboard fell off the bed, and I'm like, oh, that's not good. It didn't break or anything, it just came loose. It's very old. It's been around probably a long time. Well, one thing I did right, I got that lace turned, trimmed, ex turned exactly right. So I'm sorry you're not getting the full, uh, the full experience of me making the bed. However, it was just bad. So that's it. Okay, so now it's like, what am I going to do at the top? Well, I have got, hopefully, enough of this lace left. Ooh, just enough. Yay, maybe I was supposed to do this. All right, well, I want, don't want the edges spraying out, so I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue on each end and fold it over. Oops, I said a tiny bit of glue, and there I go. Big old blob. Here comes the burnt fingers. Yep. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to turn that one over and make sure we still have enough. I didn't turn too much. Nope, we're good. Get the glue peeled off my fingers here. Nothing like having hot glue stuck to you when you're trying to do something. Hoping I have enough glue left in my gun to just get this stuff done. Okay. All right. Hopefully I turned them both the same direction. Oh, you know what? I didn't. All right. Well, oh no, I did. I thought it looked like I didn't, but I did. So I'm going to glue that right over the top of the bed there. on its side. Let's put a little dab of glue under there just to hold it. And then we'll start gluing along the edge. Okay. 
I think we're just about to the point where I'm going to have to uh, put a new glue stick in. Because it's sticking. I think we're going to have to put the new glue stick in. I hate the big sticks because then they just flop around while you're trying to glue something, but you know, it's the hazard of a glue gun. And I have always had a love-hate with my glue gun. I, I like glue guns. I just don't have the best luck with them always. Okay, I want it to fit right there so it looks like that is turned over the lace. Or, you know what I mean. carefully get this here so I can hide my really bad edge there. I liked the pink flowers, you know, the floral that I did for Grandma's bed, but then again it just wasn't quite going for what I wanted, so I thought, well, we'll give her kind of a neutral here, and I like this fabric. And then everything went wrong. Because that's what happens with me quite often. Okay, so that's better. And now I thought about, I've got some vintage black velvet ribbon, or brown velvet ribbon. It's not real wide, but I thought if I just put that over the top, it would give it kind of a nice finished off look. So I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I need to nip a little bit of the ribbon. It's fraying out. I love this. This is the older vintage, older ribbon. It's actually vintage. The newer stuff doesn't seem to be quite as plush as the old stuff. So I'm just going to turn that edge under because I don't want it bringing out once it's on. Then we're just going to glue it across. I just need enough of it so I can turn the other edge under. Try to get that good. A little bit of glue, get rid of the string, pull it over. Success, I didn't burn myself. All right, I'm just going to start laying it right along the top edge of this lace. I'm going a little bit at a time. After yesterday, a little bit at a time is. I have discovered his best. <laughs> Yesterday was so bad. And due to my back hurting, running to the chiropractor and having to work and not feeling like doing anything when I got home, I didn't get some videos made up ahead of time, which I should have. And I apologize for that because now you're kind of hanging out with me right on the videos I'm doing like to get a bunch of ton and do voiceovers. All right, I will not be doing pillows today. That just is not gonna happen today. All right, we are there, I think. Ow. Of course I had to stick my finger in the last of the glue I did. <laughs> of course. All right, well, I think that is kind of cute now. Not sure it's what I want. That's what I said. This bed will probably be getting redone. But that's how it's looking so far. And I won't be doing the pillows. So, I need to unplug my glue gun. Put it'll sit there and ooze glue. This one isn't so bad, but that sure bounder I had just oozed the glue out so bad. It just got way too hot. So, it wasn't. It and I parted ways. I think it finally burn out or something anyway if it gets stopped working. So yeah, that's the bed. For what it's worth, that's the bed. Um, and like I said, it probably will be changed at some point because I don't know how happy I am with that or not. I like it, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to leave it right there. 
I want to thank everyone for joining me. Again, welcome to my new subscriber. I am so glad to have you here. And all of you that are hanging there, in there with me on this adventure, thank you so much. You are so, so appreciated. And I mean that. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I think probably the next video is going to be a Victoria's farmhouse. So if you're in it only for Grandma's house, you know, it, 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 Grandma's house seems to be very popular. Um, if you're in it just for that, I just want to let you know that the next one will be going over to Victoria's farmhouse. I've got the stairs in. I've got some other things done that I want to show you, and I've got some things I want to do with you on it. So that'll probably be the next video. I hope that each and every one of you has a really great weekend. And we're just going to leave it at that. <laughs> we're going to leave it at that. Thank you once again. I, and uh, if it wouldn't be too much to ask, if, if you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and you get to watch me bumble through crafting. <laughs> Bye for now.